Hello everybody and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I will show you how you can model this piece in Fusion 360. I'll present you the fastest way possible in order to do that. So we will start with a big sketch, try to focus on this side right here from the lateral view and then we will start to extrude. So the first thing that we will do will be this two circles. So a circle with a diameter of 50 and the other one with a diameter of 25. So let's get started. Let's create a new sketch. Let's choose this plan, for example. Go to the right plan here. Press the C letter for the circle. And let's write diameter 50. OK, double click on the mouse wheel to have a better view. And now again, circle, C letter, 25. OK, let's have a look again. We'll construct now a rectangle with the dimensions 55 and 36. You see it. We need to have this piece, but also, as I said before, try to look from the lateral. So let's go through a rectangle from this point. Okay, the first dimension 36, tab 55. Okay, now let's construct another two circles. So a circle with the diameter of 36 and another one with the diameter of 15 units. Moreover, you can see that here there is a distance of 85 units from a center to the other. So circle, place it somewhere here, it doesn't matter. 36 and inside another circle, 15. Let's go to the tangent here to have a tangent circle. You see that there is an imaginary line here to be on the same position. And let's add a sketch dimension or press the D letter until here. OK, we need to have 85. And let's construct another rectangle with the dimensions 30 and 36. Thirty-six tab thirty. Okay, here it is. Now let's focus on the other side here. So a rectangle starting from this quadrant point. This line it is the same with the diameter of the exterior circle. That means fifty, and the length here will be seventy. So press the air letter. Start from here. Seventy tab fifty. Okay, another circle now. So a circle with the diameter of 32 and the diameter of 56. Moreover, the distance between these two center is 110. Circle on this green line, 56. And circle again, 32. Sketch dimension between this point and this point, 110. Okay, brilliant. Now another rectangle starting from this point. It doesn't matter how long is it actually, but we need to know that this is the distance here. Okay, wonderful. We are almost done with our sketch. So press the finish sketch, go to the home button. And now let's start to extrude. The thickness here will be 46 and here will be 18. So keep it in mind. Extrude, select this entire circle, pay attention, symmetric whole length here, and we'll write 46. The operation, new body, of course. Okay. Make this sketch visible again, because we need it. Extrude, select this side, you can see it, but also with this tiny edge. Okay. And the same thing, symmetric, whole length and right here 18 then the operation join we will work on this video with just with one body now extrude again with 12 plus 18 plus 12 and here 15 18 15 so keep it in mind 12 and 15 this side symmetric whole length 12 plus 18 plus 12 join okay here on the other circle symmetric whole length 15 plus 18 plus 15 good everything seems to be all right here we have the same 18 then 14 
plus 34 plus 14 and here instead of 14 we have 18 so it's basically the same story just keep it in mind 14 and 18 but also with this little edge but let's make it visible okay this is the one symmetric whole length 18 but you see the program is smart enough to detect that we probably want to cut from it due to this little part but let's change here into join to be like an additional piece and press ok extrude yeah this part whole length okay 14 plus 34 plus 14 and here extrude pay attention here again okay symmetric whole length 18 plus 34 plus 18 good now you can disable this catch or you can make it invisible let's have a look okay and now we have another thing to do go here to the surface and let's create a new sketch go to the top plan and let's create now a rectangle it doesn't matter too much just create a rectangle now let's add some sketch dimensions okay the dimension here as you see it is 12 12 in the other side and we don't have a distance here but let's assume it is the same with the other one so 12 as well Twelve here, twelve, and here twelve. Good. Finish the sketch, and for this time we will not extrude it like we join command. We will cut it. So extrude, then just drag it. The program you see will detect the operation, and this one will be for this time to cut. And just press OK. And here it is the same thing you guessed it we will do it here create a new sketch go to the front plan and let's create a rectangle okay let's say somewhere here let's have a look here we have 14 12 and 14 sketch dimension 14 14 and 12 okay finish the sketch but for this time let's go to the extrude select both parts and go to symmetric for this time even though it is the operation to cut and just drag it it doesn't matter the distance too much and then press ok let's have a look okay so our piece is done but for a final step let's add some color so go here to appearance and let's write yellow for example okay this one it may look good but you know that you can also change it and here it is our drawing now it's complete i hope this video helped you if you have questions don't hesitate to let them in the comments below as always don't forget to like share subscribe and see you next time